Someone just said, Vinny, can you check the weather real quick? No, no, no. We're going to play Super Paper Mario real quick. Someone wrote a complaint about the sticker saying, hey, eight bucks for a sticker is beans at Teespring. The thing is, I don't think Teespring knows what beans means. Okay, so we're in space. Space is the place. Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Mario and his friends headed to the Space Bypass in search of the pure heart. How did Squirps know about the secret route? Our heroes stared suspiciously at him. Why are you staring like that? Said Squirps. Are you falling for Squirps? In the darkness of space, the eyes of Squirps glinted mischievously. I have to remember to get a star as bows. This is Space Bypass. Yeah, from somewhere in here we can enter the war zone. Come on, Space Grunt, look for the entrance. Squirk! The war zone? You simply must be kidding with me. I demand answers. That's a prohibited zone, Squirp. Some call it the Space Graveyard. Squarks? It's a complicated maze. They say once you go in, you can never get out. And supposedly the pure heart is hidden at the very back of that mole, squinkly. Whoa. How would you know that? Who are you really, you incontinent little imp? Wait, incontinent? Does that mean he can't poop? Or he poops without... That means he poops without... control over his poops. It just... well, there you go. Squirple, squirtle, squirp! I made some room with that pit stop. Now I'm hungry. But don't worry about that, Space Grunt. Find the war zone entrance, Scribble. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much does it hurt to do the squirp voice? Um, zero. At, well, like one. What is that? Come on, no, use it. I want to see it. Gonna use catch card. Jellion. Oh my god! Well, well, guess I kind of just wasted a healing item. Ooh. Marble It Up has got a challenge mode incoming. I don't know what that means, uh, but I think there's there's more Marble It Up content on the way. I don't know if it's, you know, it's going to be that great. The other Marble game got an update, the Fractal Marble game. That looks kind of interesting, too. The GPU melter? Yes. The hell? Scribble Scrack! This hole, what a lovely shape, Scrap! I don't know why, but I want to be squeezed into there. Someone squish me in! Want to squish? Squirps? Into there? Reserve. Feel dirty. What 
What is this thing? Oh, the Space Gates Corp. Ah, wrong voice before. This one's correct. These lead from the Space Bypass to the War Zone. Through this gate is the way forward, Space Grunts. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the 3D aspect lately. Alright, guys! We've got a 3D spinner here! Oh, chosen one, what will fulfill the strange alien's desire? Something sweet and what? Then starts with Cho and ends with late. This will open the way. Chobo late. Chobo. Cho. Cho. Chode late. Cho. Ch ch chung. Chungo late. Chobo. Oh, so I've been running some experiments. Can I show you the experiments? Do you know what this is? So that's Mario 64. DS with an actual really good analog facsimile. The music is very crusty though. I don't know how to fix this, but maybe Nari knows. So it's a work in progress. <laughs> That's a whole different button. Don't worry about that. That's not relevant. Yeah. Uh, you can hear more weird. Uh, dun. Yeah. So, it's not there yet, but, um... We're going to talk about that for a second, because that's a game I tried to stream, and I abandoned it. Because... Reasons that people don't believe, but the D-pad controls in Mario 64 DS are done in such a way that it's not true analog, but it's, it's a good facsimile. It just made it really hard to do certain moves, so I gave up the DS version, I went to the 64 version. However... This locks, it ties your analog stick to the touch screen and it locks your mouse in the middle. So it, I, I'd say it's like it's a 90% ratio to being like the 64 version. And I can do, um, I can do uh, flips, I can do side flips. It just, it's great. It's really good. Squirple Orple Screw, another wonderful shape. I feel another compulsion must get twisted into there. Someone twist me in. Want to twist Squirps in there? Something. Something's missing, Squirk. Definitely. I can't shake it. There's only one solution. That's right, Squirps must eat something yummy. Squirps will not move until Squirps eats something good. I this I declare, Squirp. It wants to get squoozed into little spaces and then it wants to eat 
and then shit. What a what a good character. So I'm not saying that there's gonna be a Mario 64 DS stream like really soon, but I've been um I read a thread that there is a way to um you know that there was a way to do this and I tried it out for myself. It took like a half hour and it worked. Now, it's not Mario 64 exactly, but it's actually close enough, and it's better than um, trying to use an analog stick with the D-pad controls, which, it, the, you know, the controls, they, they do it in such a way that it leans into the turns, but it makes certain things difficult for me. Some people don't seem to have a problem with it. I had a problem with it. But now, I'm much, much, much more likely to stream it, because it feels much closer to the, the 64 controls, and... Um, I tested it out for like a good 10 minutes and it was great. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you all know about that. Now the audio is a different issue. Oh, and I upscaled it. I can upscale it. I can double the resolution. Which um, you probably noticed. I can't triple the resolution, because then it starts to stutter, but I can double it. Not bad. So, it'll look good, it'll play well, and we get to see all the extra stuff, all the extra characters. Um, I just have to figure out the music thing, and then it'll be great. Like, I love Mario 64, the original. But there are things that the DS version does that I like as well. I like the new boss fights, I like the new stars, I like the new game mechanics, I like the other characters. There's so many little things that maybe some people don't like, that I remember really liking. And I think... You know, I- listen, I'm just happy to stream another... Sure, I streamed Mario 64 like a year and a half ago. But if I could stream the DS version in the next, like, couple months and have it play well and look good, I think that'll make for a fun stream. So, anyway. That is my current update. I just remember Wario sucking. Wario was just terrible. He could punch blocks and punch people in the face. And that's about it. Would this be a full sauce first for games replayed on stream? No, I've done randomizers. I've done, um... Some other games. Like, obviously I go back to roguelites and stuff like that, like indie games. Would you ever stream Star Fox 64 3D? I would like to, actually, yeah. The only reason I haven't... ...is... Well, I'll tell- oh, Zelda 2, yeah. I'll tell you about it in a second, but I have to hit up uh, Space 7-Eleven real quick. Hey, dude! It's me! Did you guys ever see a movie called Space Truckers? It's like a, a cheesy... I, wasn't Steven Dorff in that? He was in that. Wait, no, he wasn't. Was he? Have a twinkly day. Yeah, welcome to Twinkle Mart. If we're not closed, we're open. Wow! I was so lonely. Since our grand opening, you're our first customer. 
I, I think I should have thought about location more when I bought this place. What you looking for today? Just grab whatever grabs your eye. Twinkle shoppers. It does it matter? I mean, they're all chocolate. Oh my, oh my God, Space Lois. Looks, oh fuck. No. Oh God. Wait, rip 50 HP? Did I really just eat the thing that was 50 HP? I thought that was 10. Space food heals for 50 HP in space, even though it says 10. Well, at least I don't feel stupid. You need shoot to get Kern? Vinny, you're great at wasting items in this. I haven't really needed too many items, but I am that I am, yeah. I've learned how to waste items like the best of them. It's amazing. I'm really proud of myself. It would be cool if your inventory could hold, like, at least, I don't know, fucking ten more items. This is... come on. I mean, it scrolls down one time. For one thing. At that point, why even make it scroll down once? Technically two. For two things. Okay, fine, two things, sorry. That's an Eligon. They're space creatures that are made of many parts. Max HP is 10, attack is 2, loses a piece of itself as it takes damage. The head is its weak spot, right? Okay. This is definitely worth my time. No amount of girth points is, is currently saving me. So yes, there's a movie called Space Truckers. And it's about, like, space truck stops. I, f I feel like I was talking about something directly before Space Truckers, and then I got sidetracked, and then I forgot. Star Fox 64 3D. Okay, yeah, here's why I haven't streamed it. 
So Nintendo at some point did like a free promotion and I got Star Fox 64 3D for free. And um, the problem is it was tied to my other 3DS account because I, I had to make two accounts. They wouldn't let me have two accounts on, on one account on two 3DSs because they were afraid of piracy or whatever. And I kind of, I guess I get it to some extent. I understand that. But at the same time, there were a number of games that I had downloaded on my 3DS XL that I couldn't stream because I couldn't, you know, they were digital. So I have a digital Star Fox 64 3D on my 3DS XL that I cannot stream. So my question to all of you is this. Does Star Fox 64 3D emulate well yet? Have we cracked 3DS? Uh, oh, I didn't say emulation. I just meant... Citra. Why not play the original? I've streamed the original several times. I mean, I love the original, but I'd like to stream the 3D version. It's nice. It's, it's cool. I'm sure someone has a problem with it, but uh, I remember enjoying it. So hungry, Scorps can't move. Well, Scorps can move, but so very slowly. Oh, Scorps need to eat something yummy. Scorps is a gourmet. You think I'd be satisfied by something like this, Squag? But you went to all this trouble, Space Grunt, so I don't want to, but... Squatch up. This is... The chocolate nuts melt together, creating a full flavor with a clean finish. It's a sweet chocolate sonata written for lovers. It's pure cocoa love. Squirrel, squirrel. Too good! Why? Squirp, sorry about that. Squirps got carried away. The gate. Oh, the gate, it's appeared. The goal is nice, Squirgle. Let's go, Space Grunts. I actually looked up um, Kid Icarus Uprising in, you know, HD, and it looks really, really good on Citra. It still looks a little bit glitchy, though. And, um... Aquas is upside down in the emulation of Star Fox 64 3D. Um, apparently the game cr uh, Star Fox... Uh, it's not Star Fox, Kid Icarus uh, crashes on level 4. So, that's a problem. But, but, it looks, it looks amazing. And, uh, another thing about it is, someone modded it so that you can play it with an Xbox controller and not have to use the touchscreen. Kid Icarus. Citra. I just want to show you what Nintendo could be releasing at this time. This is something that they could release on the Switch. What's in your heart? Just a couple of enhancements. Oh. Get the frames up to 60. That's really something. So you'd better not be thinking about anything naughty. What? How did you... <laughs> Just kidding. And you know, the video quality isn't even as good as it could be. So... But I would, I would buy this. I would buy this in a second. I know. I was also kidding. Sure you were. Take a look at some of the the more like it 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 still looks good. The art style is strong enough that even with all the the 3DS like crust, it still looks pretty damn good when it's upscaled. It, it's not the best looking thing ever, but it, you know what? Way better than I was expecting.
You gonna, gonna get closer to that dude? There you go. Good. So anyway, yep, that's uh, that's something. But again, as good as that looks, you can't get past level four. Mario and his friends took the space byway and merged into the Woe Zone. Known to some as the Space Graveyard, it was said to consume all who entered it. Just a little bit longer, we'll, we'll, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes glimmering, Squirps continued to forge onward. Would Mario and his friends get their hands on the pure heart at long last? Mysterious Mr. L. We're here, Squiggle! This is the War Zone! Squirps have fi has finally arrived, Squirtly! Squirps is here! S Penguin of Doom! Squirps can't wait! Squirps is going to scurry ahead! Follow Squirps when you can! But remember, Space Grants, this place is a super complicated maze! You'll get lost before you know it! But pay attention to where you're going, Squirp! Well, Squirps, we'll see you guys later at the spot where the pure heart waits. Can't believe that creature left us at a time like this. But I must say, I do feel the presence of the pure heart. It's here somewhere in the zone. Do you remember when Bowser spoke in Mario Sunshine? Oh, Bowser Jr., how are you? So yeah, I mean, um, that was Clancy Brown. That was really Clancy Brown. I never knew that Clancy Brown did so much voice work. I just always remembered him as the guard from, um, I mean, he's in a bunch of movies, but I always remembered him as the guard from, um, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, and then I found out he was Mr. Krabs, and I was like, Maybe he, maybe he likes doing voice acting, like, I would. I would rather be a voice actor than an, an actual actor. Not that I know what being an actor entails, but voice acting seems like fun. Acting seems like boom. Mark Marin interviewed Krusty the Clown. That seems like fun. Like, they pretended it was, like, an episode of his podcast. And Krusty just, like... I, I think they ad-libbed, I don't know, but... Krusty was talking about, um, food-related trauma. I don't actually like pies! Thirtieth year, them Simpsons. I've watched like seven full Simpsons episodes in my entire life. Hmm. If I ever like actually decide to watch The Simp. I will, um, you know, I'll probably watch, like, seasons one to nine. Something like that, right? Vinny, what are you doing? I was trying to get to that door. Doesn't look like it's that one. I clearly have made a mistake.
I don't actually like pies. They're just cake with rip with cream on, on them. I can do crusty until I start belching. Not that you needed to hear this, but that I I just can't. Oh. I am pig. This bizarre beast is called a pig pigatherhythm. Everything about it is just odd. Max HP is whatever, and then there's some stuff. Tax. It takes three stomps to finish off this piggy. Each stomp makes it smaller and faster. It's very hard to stomp the last one. Pig gather rhythms often drop many coins, so you may want to hunt them if you're broke. It's a nice hog you got there, mister. Mind if I squeeze it? Vinny, you're adding extra syllables to that name? You know, I was surprised to learn that there's an, um, that the word simp is actually a dirty word. Based on Homer Simpson's face. Related to, um, stuff. That's a Barabad. It can shield itself with a strong barrier. It also shoots rings of energy from its mouth. You can't break its barrier, but you can flip to get places it might not want you to. Like, in the barrier. It wasn't Clancy Brown who voiced Bowser in Sunshine, it was Scott Burns. He voiced Bowser throughout the GameCube era of Mario games. So did... Did, um, Clancy Brown voice Bowser? Or... At, at all? Or... Wait, what are you telling... No? Doot. 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 All right, and welcome to Misinformation! This is the newest game show on Vine Sauce. Today, we're going to be learning about voice actors that actually weren't the voice actors for the thing they were supposed to be the voice actors for! He voiced Cortex in the original Crash Bandicoots. Bowser, Crash Bandicoot, or, you know, Cortex, same thing. These fucking hogs. I'm sure Star Fox 64 3D is not that expensive at this point, right? If I wanted to stream it, I'd just plop down 20 bucks for it. 
Here's the problem. Here's the problem. My 3DS that I stream with is the very definition of crust. Oh, this is this is a cool level, by the way. I first of all, I I would be happy if I didn't have to touch a 3DS again. It was a great little system. It did what it had to do, but I'm good. Um, my 3DS capture card has so the 3DS that I use for streaming purposes is the first generation 3DS, like day one 3DS. And the analog stick already came off once, and I had to glue it back on. It randomly shuts off. The cable, like the slot in the back where the cable goes in, for the, um... You know, that was the, the place that was modified so that I can stream. That little, like, entryway is really loose, so sometimes I d it disconnects. Uh... The buttons are, like, kind of fucked up. The screen is, like... Listen, this is gonna be gross. Look at your Wii U screen and tell me if that shit's pristine. Now picture me streaming... ...speaking while I'm playing my 3DS, and imagine... There- there's some spit on that that I can't get rid of. I'm <laughs> No, I'm kidding. It's not that- you can eat- you can get rid of spit, that's not the problem. The real problem... You can't get rid of certain finger, like, finger marks. Like, some of the screen is scratched. It just gets so shitty. The- the- the finish on the 3DS makes it look really, like, fucking gnarly after that many years of use. Now, I think I could get a 3DS that's, like, a new 3DS, like, um, you know, a, a 2DS or a 2DS XL or a 3DS XL. I could get one of those for capture. But that, I think, would cost me, like, 300 bucks. And... The time of the 3DS is more or less over, so I was really, really hoping we could get that emulation up to speed by the time I, uh... More like 500? Are you serious? Vinny, if you to, to get a streaming and 3DS XL, you have to install, install a CFW on it. What is that? One second, hang on a minute. Um, 3DS capture card. Custom firmware. Give me one second here. All products. Here's the website I got mine on years ago, I believe. I don't even think they're selling it anymore. It means you need homebrew. It's 3DS home. Oh god. Yeah, that website doesn't even seem to work anymore, or, or it doesn't seem like they're selling 3DS capture cards anymore. Sure, if it's easy, that's great, but I also, you know, I don't want to risk... I would do it, I, you know, if I had to, but... So now we're spending three to five hundred bucks on a product that may or may not exist... ...for, like, two games. Vinny, they're talking about shitty homebrew-based streaming. Are you talking about... You're talking about the really crusty streaming that's, that's, um... Yeah, no, that's- that's not the streaming that I'm talking about. I- I need a hard mod, otherwise it would look terrible. And apparently the people that do that don't do that anymore. hurts the brain. Oh my god. And now I'm pressing the wrong buttons. It's 
Someone said I need Peach to get to the left door. Oh, shit, I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, I think I see. No. No, never mind. I didn't realize I hadn't been in that door already. Someone said, when's the last time a video game had a good flamethrower during the Resident Evil 2 stream just before this? I think we have our answer. What? Oh no! My brain hurts! Still very brain hurty. Vinny, are you gonna stream Tetris 99 in the future? Next week, yeah. By the time I play it, though, everyone's gonna be so much better at it than I am. I was already not great at it, but now I'm gonna be extra shit. Learn to T-spin. How about I just stream Tetris Attack and we call it even? No, I, I actually really like Tetris 99. I would like to revisit that. But Tetris Attack is good, too. Question, is Tetris Attack on the SNES Classic? I forgot. No? Well, it will be. I have um, a rare, like, you know, you know how sometimes you buy a video game system and, it, and it's, it's rare and there, it does cool things that other ones don't do? I think next time I check the SNES Classic, it's going to have Tetris Attack on it. So cool. Maybe it'll have Act Razor on it as well. I don't know.
What about Tetris Effect on the PS4? I'm not that big of a Tetris fan where I would have to get every Tetris game. I know that game is beautiful. And if I had PSVR, I would probably try that out. And... I would... What would I do before then? Just have a nice dinner. Underrated puzzle game, Meteos, on the DS. I put a lot of hours into that game, but I hit a skill ceiling and I just stopped. Controls making my brain hurt again. What the fuck? You don't like the beeping? There's been a lot of uh, discussion about Link's Awakening uh, Remake. And here are a couple of things I'm excited for. I don't think there's going to be like a lot of new stuff. Maybe the color dungeon. But I want to see what Wart... ...and that weird sunfish look like in 3D. And yes, anti-Kirby as well, sure. It's not a long game. For, you know, by Zelda standards. I wonder if that's gonna turn a lot of people off, because there's like a lot of new Zelda fans now because of the, um... Because of the Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and... I know that there's people gonna get that because they're like, oh, another Zelda game. But I think it's actually a really good choice to have that as, like, a follow-up Zelda game to see what the classic style is. And with the, uh, quality of life improvements. It's like, oh, this is what Zelda is also. Hopefully it's under 60 bucks. That's the big um, point of contention, isn't it? The $60 price point. I stand by my conviction that that was a 3DS game. Good thing I, um... Used that mushroom, huh, chat? Once again, have wasted another item. I think that Nintendo would be really smart to make that 40 bucks, like a 3DS price, but I also think if they... Say they restarted development on it for the Switch, and they had to upscale all their assets and everything, which I think happened, I don't know for sure, maybe it didn't happen. Then... and it's already been rumored for like two years that this existed. Then I wonder, like, would they even consider 40 bucks because they need to make their money? And it's Zelda, you know, it'll sell. Some Wii U games were 40 bucks. I, I'm just gonna say, don't be surprised if it's 60.
It should be 40, but it'll be 60. I hope I'm wrong. Vinny, you're still going to buy it for 60 bucks. I love Link's Awakening too much not to, and I also... It's a new Zelda game. Well, it's a new old Zelda game. And also, I think it would make... Obviously, it would make for a great stream. I didn't expect I'd be streaming Link's Awakening two years in a row, but I'm okay with this. When I was younger, I would start a new game of Link's Awakening once every three, four months. And sometimes see it to completion, sometimes not. It's a, it's a world I like to be in. So yeah, I'll be streaming it. Just, you know, hopefully if it's 60, they add some new stuff to it. And if it's, you know, maybe a couple dungeons, I don't know, what, anyway, splow, splow poke. Splow pokes! Squackle, Squirps was tired of riddling. Squirps almost gave up. The pure heart that you're looking for is just up ahead. Space grunts. Squirps, you've done well. You're a smart kid. Squirps, squeeze, stop it. Squirps is embarrassed. Wait, whose voice was that? Squirrel? Squirp! Space Niblet, you okay? Uh, how do I voice this character? Um, I don't even know what kind of voice. Um, ha <laughs> ha Who are you? Oh, me? Just one of Count Black's more promising minions? The Green Thunder? Totally original new character. How do I voice them? Mr. L! Mr. L? Mr. L? What? <laughs> I don't need you to tell me it's a cool name. I know it. Don't bother memorizing it. Try to do Danny Wells Luigi for this one, but I'm, I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to go back to the other one. Why? Because I'm about to give you a burial at sea. I mean a burial in space. Oh, the evil king of all charlatans! Do I look scared? How about you? That's Mr. L. This new hire of Count Blex is a real mystery man. Max HP 40, attack is 3. He uses his high jump as a weapon. And that powered up super jump is quite super. He has no other outstanding features of note. And why does he remind me so much of Mario? No other outstanding features of note. Oof! Impressive! I guess there's but one thing to do, hmm? Come at me, Metal Bro! Was that a meme reference? Was that a come at me, bro reference? That was a come at me, bro reference. Wow. Wow. The internet has seeped into this game in so many ways. That said, come to me? Oh, I vine blinded. I was hoping it would have been a meme. I wanted it to be a meme so bad. <laughs> Do you like him? That is my dear metal brother. He and I share a spiritual bond, you know? Yes, yes, and his name is Brobot! Enough playing already! Now for pain! Oh shit. The gravitational laws of space allow Brobot's potential to be fully realized! Hey, Mr. Gets foiled all the time by the red guy with the mustache! I'll foil your face! That's the Brobot. The Super Robot is one of Mr. L's creations. 
Max HP 255 attack 4, defense against fire 6. It's loaded with different weapons that allow it to attack from any angle. Just try to avoid its attacks and use Scorp's Beam when you get a chance. Try to grab a few Choco Bars that float by. Oh, it's like power up icon uh, items. Uh, again, this game definitely does some unexpected and interesting things. Um, kind of cool. Hey, this makes no sense! Yeah, it's a shame that was, like, painfully easy. Oh no, you beat robot! Ugh. I'll let you off the hook for the rest of today, I suppose. But remember this! When Fortune smiles next, she'll smile right here on Mr. L! Oh! Hmm, Mr. L. What a nut job. I feel like I've seen that guy before. Oh, that was awful, Scorp. But we have to pull ourselves together, Space Grunts. The pure heart is ahead. Come on, Squinkles. What do you think that alien smells like? Ha ha, asking for a friend. Mommy, 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 Scrubs brought them here. Oh, we're finally here. Come on, say hi to Scorps, mommy. Scorp? Yeah, this is Scorps, mommy. The Queen of Scorpia. Her name is Scorpina the uh, 14th. Queen is your mother, so you are... Squirps is the Prince of Scorpia. A once great kingdom. The, uh, my true name is uh, Squirp Corogalan Scorpina. Sorry for not telling you. Squirps promise not to tell. It makes Squirps a target. Long ago, Squirps' mother was told that destruction would come to the world. And in order to protect us from this destruction, we needed a pure heart. So, Mummy hid the pure heart in the war zone, where no one could get to it. And so, 1500 years ago, Scorps was put to sleep in a hibernation capsule, Squeep. Scorps was meant to bring the, the hero here to protect the world, Squirple. Wait a minute. Weren't the pixels 1500 years old? Ugh, my brain hurts. I can't keep up with plot points this complicated. The Prince of Scorpia, Scorps, has a message from the Queen to deliver. I bestow upon you the pure heart in the hope that you will save the world. Here, take it, Scorp. You must be so tired. Whatever. Whew. Now that Squirps is all relaxed, Squirps feels kind of tired, said Squirps. And with that, Squirps lay down before the statue of his beloved mother and died. No, uh, mother, mother, he said, his voice soft. I did my best, right? Are you proud of me? Then slowly, young Squirps closed his eyes. The mission had weighed heavily on his tiny back, and he was proud to fulfill it. Wait, what the fuck?
I guess he really was so tired. That poor son of a bitch. He's just sleeping. Sorry, one second. I'll be right with you, chat. Yeah, so guys, huddle up, okay? We're just gonna have a quick new minion orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Mmm, can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality. Oh, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up to now. You're like junior minions. Junior? Come here, I'll introduce you to your fist, Junior, and his wee pal, Slapper. Gosh, Mr. L, but didn't you get pretty spanked, too? Maybe you're the Junior. Uh, spanked, you say? Oh, oh. Well, I was scouting him, dear. He will be mine next time. Yes, he shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L, a.k.a. the Green Thunder. Thunder. But enough about me. I need to head to Repair Bay for robot modifications. Later. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. Jesus Christ, this is the plot to Mother 3. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Pragnosticus. So, what you're saying is the man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L? What? That makes as much sense as a beef and broccoli sandwich! Calm yourself, oh chunks. Make ready. Count Black is sending you on a new mission. Oh, no, that makes sense. Oh, 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 I, I oh, chunks, swear to you. The hero's got a hot date with me feet. Chunks away. My, aren't we hot-blooded? Well, well, I suppose that's to be admired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be on my way as well. Ciao! So, poor little Mimi doesn't get to be in on the fun. This stinks. Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistle whistleblower here, but Ochunks may not... Actually, even Dementio Mimi and Mr. L may not be up to this. That hero's gonna collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. <laughs> All is according to plan. Count Black assures you. It's strange. Nobody ever, um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, you've been made to destroy it. That's quite enough, Nastasia. If I could, um, I... You'd what? If, if only I could have, you know, been that girl, things would have been different. She cannot be replaced. You could never hope to do so, Nastasia. Yeah, um, I'm very sorry. That just slipped out. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all worlds. Never to return. Oh, there's a lot here. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this story. Like, I actually care about these characters, except their chunks. Um, what? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Blue Air, is there such a place? Think. I can't bear to see you hurt again. It's 
Romeo and Juliet. If our love has no home, let us spend our lives searching together. So I beg of you, Timpani, marry me. I promise I'll make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Timpani, answer me, please. Please respond. Blumier, I promise. Take me away. Take me to a world where we can be happy. Now we've gotten five pure hearts. This is turning into quite a collection. <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? You got the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. Yes, yes. Hee hee hee. That said, we owe Squirps for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a little bit more cheerful. It's a nice change. You think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Fra Fort Francis, I was gonna say Frant Fortsis. <laughs> Fort Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. Mario's like, oh no! Please stop. So you're all back. How was it this time, then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, we found the fifth pure heart. And this one... <sighs> ah! Dippy is dead. Huh? What? Chippy? What has happened? All of you come to my house at once! Hurry now! Very well. Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain a pixel form for much longer. A pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Chippy was not always a picture. I found her in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was hanging on by a thread, barely alive, so I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into picture. And this Tippy was born. I can hardly believe it. So where is Tippy from originally, then? She had lost her memory, so I have no idea who she is or where she is from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by a chance fate connects us. And my intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. The void has grown larger, and these tremors have become common, I am afraid. Our situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the Light Prognost card map really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy. Young heroes, please, the pure heart, find the next pure pillar, a heart pillar, in path. Mega Man. <laughs> Bowser is kind of hard to take serious. Where where am I going? Someone said I can I can go back for a second to visit a specific thing. Specific Four, one. Okay. So here we are thinking that um, our friend Squirps is dead.
But here he is. Long time no see, Squirp. How have you been? What, Squirp's dead? Oh no, I was just sleeping, Squirp. Let's play again, Squirk. Let's go. I like that it even acknowledges that he was just sleeping. We should visit Dexter Jetster's 1950s space diner. I'll show you guys a secret. I found out how to unlock Breadward. Watch. You just have to, yeah, you just have to kill Mario, and then you can unlock Breadward later. That's a pre- that's a pre-requisite. Also, I want to say pre-requisite is a hard word to say when you're tired. And dark prognosticus is a difficult word to say when you are doing a voice of a senile old man. Dark prognosticus fresh. Fish is one floor up. did that. Oh, hello, fish. It's a little bigger. Oh, right, I don't have, I don't have, uh, tip, tippy. What do you have? What wares, what illegal wares do you have? Lots of big egg? Fresh pasta bunch. With no sauce on it, so it's Mario Super Show... Canon. Canonical. This is some good pasta! And he just, like, fucking slurps it up with no sauce on it. Big egg. Boiled pasta? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it was just boiled, and then that's it. Because, you know, you can do oil and, like, garlic and, and uh, you know, some herb herbs. And, and, you know, you can actually get a really nice light pasta. But 
But I'm thinking in the Super Show, it was it was simply. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to say, I believe it was simply just uh, it was just boiled, and that's it. She plays video games all day. Ever see Flim the Salesman? That guy sells some of the craziest stuff. It's great. Set up shop somewhere underground. If you're interested, you should try him. Oh boy, this is just bad. They say the deadline's passed and I have nothing. Boy, at least if the world ends, I'll be free from the agony of writer's rock. Ah, come on, end already. Yeah, yeah, I can relate. We need 40,000 megatons. That's my uh, original song, Do Not Steal. It's called 40,000 Megatons. Some of you may think to yourselves, Vinny, there's already a pawn song called 30,000 Megatons, and you just stole that from them. No, 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 my song is called 40,000 Megatons. It's like, do you remember when Vanilla Ice was trying to defend himself? People were like, yeah, you pretty much just stole the Queen and David Bowie riff. And he was like, no. Nah. He was like, my beat goes, dun 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 And then he was like, and Queen's goes, dun 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 He said it, it was very- he said it was different. You know how I know the 90s were a dark time? At least somewhat, or like the late 80s, early 90s? I remember, I was alive. And the Ninja Turtles movie had come out, and Vanilla Ice did the, like, the songs. Or he did a song, Go Ninja, Go Ni And people were, like, thinking Vanilla Ice was the coolest dude ever. It was a nice attempt. Trying to save the world and all that. Eight blocks, each color once. <laughs> Do you remember when Vanilla Ice was like, I want to be ninja? when he was doing the, uh, the Ninja Turtle song. So you hit all of them once. Oh, shit.
Vinny, do you remember when he tried to come back as a stoner rapper complete with fake dreads? I remember that, and I remember when Vanilla Ice tried to come back as like a corn-esque rap, uh, rock star. Like, he was doing rock music, like hard, like, late 90s, like, hardcore rock music. I remember there was a time on The Daily Show, it wasn't The Daily, it was Jon Stewart's show or something, they had some kind of thing... Oh man, what was it? There was some kind of thing, it was like, Carrot Top? Vanilla Ice, Jon Stewart, and someone else, and Vanilla Ice went fucking mental. And he started, like, trashing the set and hitting things with a baseball bat. Dearest Grandmother, what must I do to live as long as you? My dear, I believe you must eat what you like and don't eat what you don't like. That is the secret to a long life. How very fascinating. Grandfather said that, too. That house... I don't think anyone lives there, but I hear voices. Do you think maybe possibly or impossibly can it be? And if it's so, then why? Ha ha ha, not to brag, I just so happen to be a best-selling novelist. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Grotus Chronicles? I created that epic cartoon. Hmm, yes. And of late, my mind positively brims with ideas of the utmost quality. I've hit all my deadlines for the next five years so I can spend my time at leisure. Everyone is backwards. Vinny, the daily late, late, late Conan Knight show with Jimmy Jimmy was the show. Oh yeah, that's when Vanilla Ice broke the set. So we're in the mirror dimension currently. This is the mirror dimension where Vanilla Ice remained re relevant and did not beat the shit out of a television set. Jimmy Jimmy J and Conan. What am I doing? Oh no, it's the owl again. Oh no, here again! God. There's like, what, 240 cards in this? Could you imagine buying them all, having to sit through that menu every single time? Or like... Just one purchase at a time. Oh, hey, Vanilla. <laughs> what do you think? Of, what do you think of the show? Vanilla's like, that's a nice set you got there, Jay. And then Bill Hicks is like, Suck Satan's cock, Vanilla! Back again, I see. Oh, well, here you are, hmm? And, uh, where did- Oh, uh, sorry. Ah, oh, well, here you are, hmm? And, uh, where did you get them from, huh? This is no place for someone who cannot appreciate the art. Someone like Vu. I think I'd better leave. Go away, take off, scoot. Be gone, huh? Papa shoots straight up from the hip, as people say. And that causes him to hurt the feelings of people he close to him. That is what Mama said. Someone said, to be fair, doesn't Vanilla Ice still hold the record for highest grossing single? Maybe. The dude just has a lot of money now. I mean, whether or not he's relevant, you don't need to be relevant to, to hang out on a beach and sip pina coladas all day. To be honest, you're quite exquisite, but uh, your haircut, terrible, terrible, so too sale, unruly. Hello, what is the word? Ah, uh, we. Oui. So yesterday, yesterday, monsieur! Wait one moment, I will transform you into a work of art, the epitome of woman! 
I don't know if I'm saying any of these French words correctly. Voila! You manjou à perfection! Oh, c'est vous! Are you ready to make your debut, huh? The world awaits. But beauty is fragile. It's fragile, huh? This hairstyle is very hard to maintain. Be careful. Get hit once <laughs> and you lose the haircut. There are people saying they never knew about this. Neither did I, but, the, you know, the chat... Chat knew it was up. You will eat now, schnitzel. This is cooking laboratory called Hot Frown. Here we grab flavor and just spank it. You bring two ingredients, and then, and then we make treats so tasty you can cry like baby. And now we cook for you. First ingredient, now! Is this sex? Ah! You, ch you changed mine. Hmph. Well, you come again, you naughty little strudel. <laughs> Everyone is just nasty on the side of the mirror. Well, not everyone. Cost me so the cards, and boy, I'm getting sick of it. Stupid cards aren't fun. Still, I have to admit the pictures are kind of cool. Ah, oh, fine, fine. I'll get into the stupid, stupid trend. I'll just pick up a couple. Strudel. <laughs> it was a hard hairstyle to maintain. I welcome you. I knew you would come by eventually. Oh, oh, I can see that you would like to ask me where in the world we are. Oh, 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 this place may seem like Flipside, but do not be mistaken. You were in Flipside, but then you flip flop sides, friends. You are in Flopside. Which means that I am not the Merlin you know. I am the Flopside version. A different Merlon entirely. You may call me Nolrim. What in the world? Don't you see? Ours has always been a story of two towns. But the only ones who know about this flip-floppery are Merlin and I. Who knew this town had such a secret? You seem a bit surprised. Ho 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 ho! There is a front and back to all things, young ones. Now, the great heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place the pure heart within it. See you! Nilbog is goblin backwards. Behold, the second floor, that elevator there goes to the first floor. Tell me, have you seen the first floor house with its locked door? Suspicious. Oft I imagine what could hide inside. Tis an amusing diversion to be sure. I want to go there now. Mayhap I shall do it later. Mayhap. What is proper speak? Flowery speak. You know, I was at Medieval Times yesterday. That's what I did yesterday. Went with a friend, and it was wonderful. Medieval Times is fucking awesome. Speaking of, uh, you know, the 90s, the Cable Guy movie. Welcome to Medieval Times! Did your team win? No, my team was the bad guy. He disgraced the queen, and then he fought uh, the black and white knight. Ours was the red and yellow knight. And um, he disgraced the queen by being an asshole. And he did horrible things, and the Master of Ceremonies wanted to fucking gut him with his sword, but he- he allowed the Black and White Knight the honor of slaying him, which he did so dutifully, as I ate my chicken with my bare hands. And then Ronald McDonald knighted him, the Red and Yellow Knight, under the Golden Arches. 
By the way, their tomato soup, as most of you have who have been there know, is outstanding. It's why is their tomato soup so good? Why is it so good? And then they give you garlic bread and you dip it in the soup. It's fucking amazing. What is it? What are they doing with it? Worth 10,000 points. Oh, it's experience? Oh. It's oh no, have you heard? They say at this rate, Flopside will be destroyed. If it's gone, what am I to do? Maybe open a convenience store or something? Welcome to Inga's Inn, where you can refill your energy tank in a single night. Sleep benefits the body and the soul. Studies show it even reduces stress. If that weren't enough, we make you a healthy breakfast to start off your day. You can choose one of three packages, mushroom, flour, or star. How do you get a job as a knight at medieval times? Did you sleep well? Your breakfast is ready, but just exactly where I put it is a secret. Run along now. There's an AMA that a guy did. Can you, like, tweet that to me or something? Because I want to read that. Cool fucking breakfast. Merlee's House of Charms, Flopside Branch, by my arms. You're surprised, don't be. I was worried for you, Gee, so I moved here. Hee <laughs> hee. If you have a charm of mine, life will surely be so fine, whether it is rain or shine. Let me ask you, though, want a charm before you go? Charm packages vary now. An extra goodness I allow, you will have to say, wow. Choose, you can't lose. Nope. Ah, well, that's too bad. So sad. Come back, I'll be glad. Why does this character have a new voice? Because it's- it's a different town! Should I get any of that? What is it? Those are good. Alright, I am kind of hoarding coins. I thought this would be like a Jape fortune teller that just lies to you and tells you like the wrong location to go. Thank you, really and truly. Here we go. Sparkling sun up in the sky, shine fortune on these guys. Key. Charming is now complete. You're set to go compete. When that charm wears out, come back for another bout. Okay. This is Merle from Merle's Mansion. Oh, that was Merle. Okay. I thought it was the other fortune teller. Like, she somehow knew how to get over here. Are you so good, flowers? I wish I got wings so I could fly the skies. I'd be so free up in those in the skies. I love being free. And I don't love her, but loves her more. Yeah, it's just, my memory is, is gone. For no good reason. But I remember every detail of the fight at medieval times.
they sell the Master Sword in a Hylian Shield there. I saw someone buy one of the Master Swords. You appear to be performing your duties efficiently. I just got a message from Merlin. Tippy's been revived. They're waiting for you at the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go there. Back. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. Oh, okay. That doesn't really explain much, but all right. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. There's no time to stay in bed anyway, and I want to be near Mario. Then I will not hold you back. These good people will surely need your knowledge. Heroes, please take good care of Tipper. This is like a more wholesome version of the the fucking the fairy in the the Zelda TV show from the 80s where the the fuck like so there's a love triangle Link wants to Link wants to bone Zelda and then she smacks him and she and she's like no and he's like excuse me but then there's a fairy in in the picture as well whose name is Sprite and she's like you know, six inches tall. And she's always trying to, like, get in Link's pants. It's weird. It's a weird fucking show. Still worried about Tippy's condition? Mario and friends open the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts, but the imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. Would Mario have enough time to save the day? What foul trick would Count Black and his goons come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling with every step. They would need to check how much you can control your horses. If the horses don't like you, you won't get the job. Imagine being a knight at medieval times, and you do your shows, and then when you're done, you just put on a hoodie, and you just drive home in New Jersey. In the middle of nowhere in New Jersey. You just went for like two hours of cheering and applauding and like people loving the fuck out of you for doing these amazing cool st things, and then, and then, and then you just chad. Oh my, where are we? Quite a nice view from here in midair, but um, I can't yet see the pure heart. Wait, midair? Oh dear. I'm not reading this. Rah! Big rock who watches! Kragnons, just little rocks. Kragnons need help. You hook Kragnons up, brah. Oh, Kragnons go crunch, and then no more Kragnons. End of all Kragnons coming, no way must Krag on. Save us Kragnons, brah. Krigly Kragly crew, I hate these people. Kragly Huag. <laughs> oh, Krag. What in Krag? Are you all right? Whoa, Scarn. You see person drop out of sky, brah? Yes, Jasperoid. Though, I was losing my crag, brah. Person shaped weird, huh? Wait, you think maybe person sent down to help my big rock who watches? This hair face, brah. But, huh? 
thought that big rock who watches would send someone cooler. Michael Scarn. Yeah. Bite your crag, brah. You knocked out the powers of big rock who watches. Point well cracked, brah. You stopped at this instant. Servants of Big Rock who watches, you big boulders, we just gravel bits. No, Brian, no! Where in the world are we, and what are you things? This is land of Cracknons. Meet Cracknon, him Cracknon. This land of Cracknons. Not rocket science, brah. Anyway, big. How do you know what a rocket is? Anyway, big bra here is my ball, chief of all crag nerds. Cragnons, what? Oh, great servants of big rock who watches. Cragnons having troubles down here. Serious, bad, big, big danger. One day, freak plant people came. Nerd Cragnon named them Floro Sapiens. They kidnapped many Cragnons. We were peaceful brass. And they give no give give they give peace no chance. That was tough. It's like rescue team of Cragnons now need to be rescued. We at end of our crag. I'm constipated. How do we save Cragnons? No ideas come to my board, and we keep losing Cragnons. This bad brass. Cragnons must work this out, or Cragnons go X. Extinct, bruh! Bummer, bruh. You prune floral sapiens, you save kidnapped buds. You hook Cragnons up. Sure thing, bruh. Yeah? You not cracking my chain. Cragnons owe you big time, bruh. You rock, serious. Yeah, serious, no cragging. Oh, big rock who watches sent you to Cragnons. For sure. That's a terrible brat! King Crack is returned! What? 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 Village Cragnons kidnapped! Please, Cragnons need to hook it up, brat! Servants of Big Rock who watches, you heard that? Right, kind brush? Please, you help! You hook up Cragnons! Hook up! Please! What in what in God's fucking name have I stumbled into? Crack nerds! Hey, check it out, man. Haven't seen that one before, have we? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Must be some sort of rare breed or something, right? Yeah, rare breed, totally. Sweet timing, too. We need a pure heart polisher. Score! Mario, these art creatures seem to know about the pure heart. Our super mighty leader, King Crocus, will be stoked to have a rare breed. Let's tenderize it a bit and tote it back, dude. That's a Florosapien. These flowery followers of King Crocus live underground. Max HP 12, attack 3. They can throw their head at enemies. Their stems will keep moving without a head, so watch out for that. No one knows if they think with their heads or bodies. A very mysterious species. You hit the ship, bruh! Hmm, it seems as though the leader of these uncouth things now has a pure heart. We'd better try to find him. Help! Flora Sapiens are taking more villagers. Flintsteins. Meet the Flintsteins. They are from the past prehistory. They prehistory. 
Flintsteens. Meet the Flintsteens. They will get you in and out of school. Oh, Craig! You try to trick Chert into leaving house. Chert, too smart for that, bruh. Oh, it's a happy box. No crack down town, bruh! Serious! Stupid Floro Sapiens, you're no good! Small house. Is this a long, um, chapter? Or like this, yeah, is this a long... Maybe I should stop here. It's 3.30. Almost. They're fleeing, I wonder where they're headed. We must follow them. Oh shit, that's the move. That's the move that Piranha Plant has in Smash. This is a putrid pol piranha, it will spew poisonous sludge at you. If you're poisoned, you will lose HP quickly. Thankfully, most items that restore HP also cure poison. Some say that pollution turn them into poisonous weeds. You're harsh in my head, bruh! Well, this went horribly. Look real sad, bruh. You not enjoy life? Huh. Here's secret of life. Find stuff that interest interests you. Then you get your crag on. Stuff of interest all over. Jasperoid, tell you about one to start you up, bruh. You see three blocks in a row? You bonk them like this. Left, right, middle. Something of interest really happened then, bruh. Jasperoid, crag you now. I want to get my crag on. <laughs> Please! Cragnons lived here long time. Hunting in peace, but Cragnons end soon. Pro sapiens will take all Cragnons soon and then. Ah, uh, uh, Big Rock who watches Cragnons beg you hook up poor, poor Cragnons. What a game. Uh, what the fuck even is this game anymore? Just hook me up, bruh. Is that bad? Okay. Well, that was fun. Couple of good moments in there, some good story development. Who is Mr. L? I mean, I've been voicing him like Luigi, but I don't even... I don't know who that is. Well... Also, thank you for the tweets. So that, um, oh yeah, fixed screen size, that's good. So that, uh, hopefully I can get that sticker price lowered. I mean, if you want to get a sticker for fucking eight bucks, that's up to you, but in all honesty, I don't know if they're going to lower the price for it, but I'm going to try. I'm going to email them tomorrow. I mean, it's Sunday, so they won't be in office, but. Who gets the money, you or them? It's like a... I get a small percentage. Um, they get a small percentage, and then the rest goes to... 
producing the thing. But yeah, I do um, from Teespring. Yeah. If you sell stuff through Teespring, any streamer, any YouTuber that sells anything through Teespring, they get a cut. It may not be like a ton. And here's the thing. If you keep the prices down, you get less. So you get to determine how much you make. And I try to keep them down as much as possible. But that sticker is outrageous. If it was like a pack of three or four or five stickers, I'd say, yeah, maybe. But I don't know, bruh. I'd be okay with a $4 sticker. And even that seems a little bit ridiculous. But again, it's a it's a decent size. It's It seems like it's well made. And it's like custom cut out. So I get what they're doing. It's just no one's going to buy an $8 sticker. 